Alright, ladies and gentlemen, Lumberjack here, and here we are, the next episode of the New York Mets franchise. And here we go. Hello there, Hello baseball, there baseball fans. Man. Let's recap what went down around the league on Monday. Starting off in the National League East, James Bond got the W while striking out 16, leading the Metropolitans past the Braves 14 to 1. The win was their sixth in a row. The Marlins finished off a three-game sweep as they defeated the visiting Fighting Phils 1 to nothing. It was their fifth straight victory. The Toronto Blue Jays totaled 11 hits as they took down the Nationals in Washington 7 to 4. The Chicago Cubs took a victory against the Brewers in Milwaukee, 4-2. The Cardinals completed a three-game series sweep as they got the win after some free baseball against the Pirates, 3-2. The win was their sixth straight as a team. The San Diego Padres combined to give up just five hits as they took care of the Rocks in Colorado, 3-2. The Reds earned the three-game series sweep as they pushed past the Dodgers at Chavez Ravine, 3-2. The San Francisco Giants broke up their five-game losing skid as they took down the visiting Diamondbacks 4-2. The Tampa Bay Rays defeated the visiting Yankees 5-2. The Red Sox only allowed two hits in the game as they took down the visiting Orioles 7-1. The Tribe brought out the Brooms in a three-game sweep as they took down the Chai Sox in front of a home crowd 7-2. James Shields got the win and now has 150 on his career, leading the Royals to the win over the Tigers, 3-2. <laughs> the Oakland Athletics combined for 10 hits as a team as they grabbed the win over the visiting Twins, 7-0. The Rangers snapped their five-game losing streak as they bested the Mariners in Safeco Field, 6-3. The Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim grabbed 13 hits in the game as they got a win over the Astros in Houston, 9-6. As always, thanks for tuning in. That's all we've got this morning. Enjoy the games later today, and we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, the reason I let that play is because I wanted you to have actual confirmation that I wasn't making up the fact that I played a game where I pitched the entire game and got 16 strikeouts. So there you go, confirmation. Now, we are taking on our crosstown rivals, the New York Yankees, in game one of this version of the Subway Series, which we are going to get to right now. Okay, tactically I know it's a road game, but it's it's New York City. It's 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 essentially a home away game. If if you can follow me on that one, okay? Um There's not I mean there is rain in April, but in New York City. Mm. Can Eno as a starter? I actually prefer the one where it shows the two lineups against each other. From 161st Street here in the Bronx, MLB The Show's got baseball from Yankee Stadium. It's the home opener of this new season between the Mets and their crosstown rivals, the New York Yankees. Folks around here in high spirits. Matt Vaskersian with you on a day that's been circled on their calendars since about midwinter. I'm joined by Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. And Steve, as we get set to get things going, it's the pitching that has to be considered one of the strong points on this ball club. 
Yeah, and pitching is going to be important for these guys. No question about it. They're only going to go as far as this group right here is going to take them. And to me, it looks like a staff that's capable of getting the job done. All right. The stage is set. The starters get their final tosses in out in the bullpen. And we've got a good one in store for you, folks. Play-by-play -play is coming up next. Oh, yeah, and in case you're wondering, uh, the music is off because of just basically the fucking broke-ass content ID systems that has uh, existed since YouTube started. I mean, and, and frankly, the fact that the, co co the copyright system on YouTube is completely... ...ever closer to first pitch. Let's listen in to public address announcer Mike Carlucci. With that, here are Terry Collins' New York Mets. What do you think they need to do to keep this winning streak rolling, Steve? Well, they have lots of power, but also lots of speed in that lineup as well. So you need to stay out of the double play situations and work count. Okay, as I was saying, the, the content I see system is an absolute clusterfuck, mostly because U.S. copyright law is an absolute clusterfuck. And on top of that, that Google will... Google... Google is a multi-billion dollar company, but Google's only interest is automating as much as possible so they don't have to hire a bunch of workers. When you know, when you know, a, a few human beings who could actually, you know, I don't know, handle, handle some of that stuff, yeah, I just, I, I, I'm going to digress, because this is supposed to be a baseball video, a baseball game, and the clusterfuck that is the copyright laws and systems is a whole other topic for another video. Alright, let's do this. But first, I want to make sure my starters are loaded in, okay? As uh, always, hitting and pitching is on veteran difficulty. Swing and a ball chop foul right at home plate. So... Okay. Now this is popped meekly in the air, playable on the infield. Garcia backs up a bit and he takes charge for the A bit of an excuse me swing, but Scott whatever. Young. We'll dig in now. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. High and deep to right center field. Nunez looks up. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. All right, Scotty boy. He's basically my version of Babe Ruth in this game. And if he was guessing up there, he was guessing right because he's all over that thing like a shaggy dog. He drives it over the wall. Yep. And yours truly is now batting. Stepping, Stepping in now, in now. Brian, Brian Wood. Wood. Did a good Did job to shorten up and protect the plate, plate, and he'll have another shot, shot out of here. The is ready. ready. Here it comes on three and two. Hit hard to short. Garcia moving to his right. Throw gets him, two down. Brandon Moss will stand in as he'll get a break from playing the field and be the DH here in this one. Yeah, it's a nice luxury to have here in the interleague ballgame. You give him a little bit of a break from the field, but you still keep that big bat in the lineup. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Mets draw first blood thanks to this solo home run. On to the bottom of the first now for the Yankees. With that, it's time to check out the starting lineup for the hometown Yankees. Steve, what's the key to starting out 1-0 here at home for them? Well, you get multiple runners on base, so you don't have to have the long ball in order to hang a crooked number on it. You need to avoid the double plays when they do get guys out. Well, now that we have a chance, let's take a look now at how the Mets will set things up on defense. All right, and as always, we are going to pitch until uh, we get a hit. So... How that, How that helps, helps the ball club. He can throw balls in the dirt as a pitcher. Touchdown, the running game. 
really impact the game. Hey, and there I am at second base. Why they just showed me at second base, I don't know, but whatever. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. And that's the importance of having a good curveball. After the breaking pitch for strike two, he just got caught flat-footed here and he couldn't catch up. No offer. Ah. Two balls and a strike. That's Too early. The, the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Jerry Hillsdale. Yeah, Jerry seems to call a really good game back there, Matt. It's pretty rare that you see anyone too overly displeased with his own. He's ready with the 2 2 pitch. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Batting third, Jacoby Ellsbury gets his first cuts now. The bases are empty, and there are two away here in the opening frame. Yeah, nothing doing so far here. He kind of needs to put up a tough at bat right here just to make this guy work a little bit. Ready to deliver the one and two. Grounded up the first baseline. Hosmer has it, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They still trail one nothing. Yep, they do. They trail one nothing. Makes his way to the plate. He'll get us started here in the top of the second. Come on, can see it. Swing of the bat because you know he has big time power. Look out, that one almost got away from him. Two and two now. You know, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here, EK. They come in looking to turn things around as they've dropped two straight. And I think it's just going to be a matter of putting yesterday behind you. It wasn't their finest performance of the year, that's for sure, but they're capable of playing much better ball, and I think we'll see a sharper focus here on this one. So, with the leadoff man on base, time to reach hmm. back into the English days of the 19th. 1980s, where video game baseball meant using your joystick to control three men on a black screen. It's <laughs> version of this date in baseball history. Yeah, that's. Now at the plate. Yeah, yeah you kiddies don't remember this. And the runner back. You kiddies weren't alive for the early days of video games. Trust me. You should be thankful that video games look the way they do now. On oh, its tailor made to short six, four, three, and they turn the double play. Aye, 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 another double play. Made the order right there. Two hops to short, easy pivot, not a lot of heat at second base. That's just a pretty routine double play. And the count will be full. Pineda gets the sign. Full count pitch on its way. Swung on and missed, oh. and that's the final out of the oh. inning. Mets go down oh. quickly. He played an inning and a half. Oh. It's one to nothing. Oh, man, that was a good pitch. That was a good pitch. I I got fooled. Uh, I will admit to getting fooled on that pitch. From spring training as he has really struggled in the early going. Pulled toward right center field. All right, that's the first hit of the ball game. Barton Ramos will stand in, hoping to get things turned around here in April as he enters play with an average down in the 220s. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Line towards center field. Line break is there, and he has it for the first down. Brian McCann is in to take his first swings here with the runner still at first and one away. Well, too bad that last guy couldn't advance the man into scoring position, so now it's probably going to take a gapper to get him home. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. He bounced back nicely here after the leadoff single. Kept the guy anchored at first. Ah, what the hell? He's what he needed to do. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Pitch outside the throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. Yeah, he just beat that throw. And I mean, just beat it. Down the third baseline. Played on the backhand. 
Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. One left for the Yankees. They're on the short end of a one to nothing. Yes, they are. Pedro Siriaco will dig in here, and they'll likely pitch carefully to him as he's coming off that two home run contest just 24 hours ago. The short hit hard. Garcia has it. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Well, well. Mark Trumbo will stand in now as he was reinserted back into the lineup here after taking a needed day off yesterday. Breaks is bad as this one's popped up. And he'll find ah. a way to dodge the shrapnel out there to make the play for route number two. Oh, well, whatever. Mike Linebrink will get a second crack at it here. He flied out to lead off the ball game. Got him swinging, and that is oh. in the inning. Mets go down. Oh, one, two, three, yeah, yeah. Come on. Freaking change up. Will stand in. He is off to a dreadful start at the plate as he has not hit the ball well in April. Foul right at the plate. The count moves now to one and two. Now a change up locks him up as he called one away. Oh, that was a beautiful pitch. Oh, man. Just look at that. Look at the grip on this last circle change. You can see that your fingers actually make kind of an okay symbol on the side of the baseball. And that gives it that nice fading movement it has at the end. Standing in now, Aaron Hill. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Oh, and this is swing on and miss. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. And the way this guy's pitching, you can bet these guys are thinking, thank goodness he's over in the other league. I'd hate to face him three or four times a year. Once is way too much. Into the box, Richie Nunez. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Three up. Three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. Steve, Eric, and I are back at Yankee Stadium in just a moment. Hey, yeah, what the hell? Young is We're going to keep this going. The top of the fourth. And you know, guys, I love a guy like this leading off an inning for you. He makes good contact, and he can run. High in the air and deep to left center field. Ellsbury is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. Stepping in, Brian Wood will swing it from the left side right here. Yeah, he's got great numbers right here. Hitting over 350 against righties where he just breaks. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Yep. Pineda into his motion. Here comes the three and two. Shoots this one to first. But taken in over at first for the second what? out. I, that I, might have been extra bases really? if it was three feet higher. Oh. Come on, man. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Two and two count. Here it comes. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Ah, man. I cannot believe I hit that one right at the first baseman. Oh, oh, oh. God, that... That had single written all over it. They've got to do something to get this guy out of the role that he's been on. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Right now, they'd be lucky to just put him in the play. Sent on the ground out to second. Wood fields it cleanly. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Jacoby Ellsbury stands in. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out. Yeah, ground out last time, but you know with his speed, that's kind of a big part of the way he plays the game. Put the ball on the ground and force the defense to make a clean, quick play on him, because if they don't, he's safe. Smoke the other way, high and deep to left. Casilla going back. He's got it. A nice play there, two away. Brett Gardner will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another one, two, three inning. Yeah, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go. The 
Alfonso Casilla heads for the box to start off the fifth in this one. Yeah, we're not doing too better either. We've only gotten two hits in the entire ball game. On a hole now as he swings and misses at a pitch in the dirt, and it's mm. two now. I uh, should have taken time, that one. Something off of that pitch, and they had him fooled pretty good on that one. Belted deep center field. Ellsbury going back, but he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall. And he'll round it and try for third. And he is in to third with a leadoff triple. First baseman number 35. I'll tell you what, there aren't a whole lot of ballparks in this league where that isn't a home run. I mean, he had to hit that thing a good 400 feet plus, but at least he'll have three bases to show for it. Now a ball hit to center field and deep. Back goes the center fielder way back, and that ball is gone. Oh, it's a monument park. A two-run home run off the bat of Eric Cosmo. And the Mets have taken a three-to-nothing lead. Boom. I just want to see this. Throw that pitch right there. That swing tells a story right there. I mean, he got all of that one. Remember, he homered in yesterday's ball game too. So. Oh, look at that! Off the facade in the center field. The right-handers starting to loosen up. In now, Jason Hayward can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. All right. Way to 100 pitches. Here it is. On a good change oh. of swing and a miss, and he's set down on strikes for the second time today. So, this that changeup is. If you give up a two run home run, you've got to just move on quickly. He's still Man. upset about it, don't get me wrong, but it's when you dwell on it that you get yourself into more trouble. Swing, line, that changeup is deadly. He's around first on his way to second now. And, and that changeup. That changeup from Pineda has proven to be deadly today. You can see he's all over this one and just waffles this thing. Rips it all the way to the wall, and he's into second with two bases. Runner breaks for third. Oh, and the pitch is low, and it won't be dug out, so he's going to take third on the stolen base. Not bad. Good call there. Has to be thinking strikeout here to short. Garcia scoops it up. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Two runs already home, and now you can make it three as he comes through with a simple ground ball with a runner on third to drive him in. Mike Linebring will stand in now. He flew out in his first time around and then was a strikeout victim last time. Oh, he went for the knockout pitch that time, but a good eye, one and two. Not too sure how you take that one on over to me. Yeah, not too sure how you call it a ball either. Strike three, and that'll put Ugh. an end to a big That inning. slider all day. But they strike for three in the inning, two on this two-run home run. Middle of the afternoon here in the Bronx. It's now 4 nothing, New York. Leading off the inning, Barton. Wow, we're play. cooking. They'll need him to get something going here. Boy, they've got some work to do here, but there's still a lot of time left in this game. So just chip away, chip away. But well, this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first out. Brian McCann. At the plate, Brian McCann. He got called out on strikes his last time through. And this is taken for a cold strike, and he's not in love with that ball either. It's one and two now. And maybe that's off the black just a little bit, but when you're around the plate as much as he's been, you're going to find that you're going to get a few calls like that. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. And for as hard as he throws, he's not just a thrower out there. I mean, this is pinpoint accuracy with his fastball. He puts it right on the knees on the inside corner. Not a whole lot you're going to do with that pitch. Into the box now, Jose Perella. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. 
So the Yanks go one, two, three. Oh yeah, on baby. The short end of a four nothing score. Get the call here as he'll start the sixth inning on the mound. Okay. Stand in again. The first will flash you back to the very first inning of the ball game. And here you go. A solo home run that had him off and running early on. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. That's lifted the other way out to left. Gardner has it in his tracks. And that's the first out of the inning. Brian Wood to stand in for the third time now. Still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. He just wants to get up there and put a good swing on the ball. Hits this one hard the other way. Yeah. On to first and there Whatever the streak I've got going, I don't care about because I'm probably not going to extend it, to be frank. Forward now. He's bounced out a couple of times already here in the ball game. Just yep. a little off on his earlier swing, guys. Oh, a great diving stoppage short. Got him. Oh, what a play. The I did really play on this beautiful diving stoppage short. More from Yankee Stadium in just a moment. Greg Garcia will come in now to start things out here in their half of the sixth as they look for a reversal of fortunes here. The first five innings have not been particularly kind to them. Yeah, and I think that's just putting it mildly. Just one hit in these first five innings. They're going to need to do a better job of finding good pitches to hit. But that fellow on the mound has not made it easy on him, and that's for sure. Chopped foul right at home plate. Trying to strike him out for the second time. And they take him out of his own here, and he obliges. Not the greatest of swings there for the first out. Not only has he run up a lot of strikeouts, but he still hasn't walked the batter to this point. So his control has been really, really spot on. So yeah, he should have taken that pitch, but oh well. <laughs> Standing in now, Aaron Hill. Chops it foul at home plate as the count moves to two and two now. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Full count now, three and two. And there you see the leadoff man on deck. And you know they'd love to get someone on base when this lineup turns over. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Line break is there now, and he has it, two gone. Now panic. Richie right, Nunez will Richie stand in, and he, Nunez. like so many others, hitless in the ball game so far. Well, we've been talking about it. And we'll have to leave it there if this is strike three, and that will retire the side. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They're down Ooh. four nothing. Ow! Back here in the Bronx. Nine K so far. The seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. From the windup, the one-one pitch. This is pulled into right, and that's in there, a base hit. So they get the leadoff man on to open up the seventh inning. The relay, not in time, and he's in there with a double. Well, I think this was a little bit of a gamble from my perspective feeling that he'd take a big turn around first and then hold on but he was having none of that he's smelling two all the way and he's going to make it there with a hustle double and that's taken in straight away right will he try from second and the throw from right will not be in time as he takes third on the fly out so a double and a fly ball move a man to third now with one away now if they could just get another fly ball it would likely net him a run True. Six hits and no errors on the Mets line score so far. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Mm. Just did manage to catch that one with the last two inches of his glove. That could have been trouble. Tap foul. The nah. Bounce ball.
All even at two and two. Here it is. Hit in the air toward the gap in right center. Ellsbury going back on it, but he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. Now a 5-0 lead. And he is out at third. So credit him with a double and an RBI here. Well, once his ball got out there, you figured it was a sure double. But he decided to risk it and try for three. It's a pretty big gamble to take when you're already in scoring position. And here, it doesn't pay off. Stepping yeah. Now, Pedro Siriaco got him. Oh, that was a good pitch. Because even if I had taken that pitch, that would have been a strikeout. And the Yankees, nothing. Leading off the inning, James Trimble. And they'll need him to get something going here. And so far in this one, they're still getting shut out. So this lead off that bat could be huge if he can just get on base. Because they've been held in check all game. Throw on to first by Siriaco gets him. One gone. Center fielder. Jacoby Ellsbury will step in now. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. Still two and two. Bases are empty. One man out. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Chopped foul at the plate, and the count holds it two and two. Oh, he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. All right, folks. Montage alert. Here you get a look at his performance so far. Ten strikeouts for him in the ball game as he continues to just plow right through this lineup one after another. Sheesh. Into the box, Brett Gardner. No contact there, and it's one and two. I'll tell you, he's been living on that corner all the afternoon. And you can tell, guys at the plate, they're starting to get frustrated. He just hasn't made many mistakes at all. And when he has, they've been out of his own. Scorched to third. Trumbull is right there. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. So the Yanks go one, two, three. Need to get it going soon. It's five nothing. That's right, five nothing. Sean Kelly will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Sean Mark Trumbo will dig in for a third time now. He's popped out and grounded out so far. Here's the payoff pitch. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. He's set. Here's the three and two. Gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. And he reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. Why? You know you've got a just why? And he's fouling off pitches left and right. That's when you know you can just keep taking him further and further away. He winds up getting the punch out here on a pitch that's well out of the zone. In now, Mike Linebring hit out towards second. Perella is there. Throw gets him two down. Up next for the match. Scott Young strides into the box now. Launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. I'll say this. He wasn't going to get his arms extended on that one. All even now, two and two. All right, come on, give me something. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Set and the 2 2 pitch. Third foul ball in a row, and this is turning ah. into a pretty good at bat. 
Come on! Something's gotta give here. In front of the change up there is this chop foul at home plate. Probably should have let that one go for ball three, but whatever. Now a swing and he pops him up. Right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory, and that ends. Oh well. Rumble will stand in, hoping he can find a little green out there for once. He's lined out twice thus far. Chopped weakly to the left. Throw on to first in time, one away. Brian McCann ready to try again. Struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yep, they sent him packing last time, so maybe they have a pretty good idea of how to attack him again right here. No runs, just one hit, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Chop foul at the plate, it'll remain one and two. And he struck him out, and there's the hat trick, and that's his third strikeout of the ball game. Well, the strikeout pitch has certainly been there for him all afternoon, and this in fact is the third time he's victimized this guy. Jose Perella will stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter. One and two One is the changeup had him out in front there. And this is exactly what he does so well. He'll make you so convinced that you're going to see a fastball, and then he's going to go the other way on you. And he lays off ah. it to even the count two and two. Set to deal on two and two. It swung on and hit in the air. Line break has a read on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They can't chip into that 5 nothing deficit. Brian Wood will stand in now, and he's been kept quiet out of the number three hole, hitless in his three at-bats so far. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely one of the better hitters in this lineup, and that's why he's in the middle of the order. He just hasn't been able to get it going today. It happens. Oh, yeah, believe me, I know. And here's a slider strike three. Oh. And that'll be the first out of the inning. Boy, that's a tight little slider right there. It looked like it was going to be a ball, but then you can see the hard fighting movement come back, and it winds up just catching that outside corner. Oh well. Standing in now. Not much I can do about that one. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Down the first baseline. Ramos ranges to his right. And he'll take this to the bag himself. And there are two away now. Alfonso. So coming to the plate, Alfonso Casilla, and all eyes are on him as he needs a home run to complete the cycle. Ready with the one and one. Now a ball hit hard toward first, and that'll get down for what should be extra bases. Around first, heading for second now. Not in time. Well, he's unfortunately, in he's not going to get a cycle, but as a team, we get for the cycle. A nice job by the first base umpire getting down there and getting the call right. And this is going to get down toward the corner and wind up a hard hit double. Eric Hosmer will get an opportunity here in a run scoring spot now following the two out double. A little early and now it's even at two and two. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Hit hard on the ground to second. Perella. Loves it, and nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. More from the Bronx after this. Striding in to start the ninth, Greg Garcia, and they'll need him to get something going here. Well, you're facing a pretty big deficit in this game, so they need to start clawing their way back. Casilla moving to his left, one out. Aaron Hill will stand in now. He struck out and flied out 0 for 2 thus far. A 
little too tall that time. Three and one now. Nah, crap. Because these guys haven't been in too many good hitters counts. This is where you need to pounce. And, oh, that should have been ball four there, but it's a called strike, and that runs things full at three and two. Oh, that is one of the best he's thrown this afternoon. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Uh, he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ballgame. Yeah, taking the 3-1 pitch, I can understand. That was borderline at best, but he's got no excuses on this one. That pitch is right there. Richie Nunez stand in now is their last shot here with two away in the ninth. Yeah, just one final hurdle here before he finishes off the shutout. And there's a called strike two as now they're down to their final strike this afternoon. These guys would like to at least get someone on base here in this bottom of the ninth. Got to make them sweat a little. And he gets strike three call to end it here. And with that, this one is over. Well, what a performance of pitching that we just saw. He was so close to putting his name into the record book. But he's going to have to settle for that complete game one hitter. So what? Uh, I'll take it. Ladies and gentlemen, the proof that I, not only I know how to pitch, but I can dominate pitching. Now granted, it is set to veteran difficulty, same as the hitting, but still, 12 strikeouts, I'll take it. Not only that, but 12 strikeouts and a one hitter. One more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his 13 strikeouts, excuse me. And let's see who the player of the game is going to be. It looks like it's... And guys, you can't win if you can't of score. Course. So there's probably not a whole lot of debate about who will take home top player of the game honors in this one. Yeah, definitely no no debate as far as I'm concerned. He was really in complete control the whole way through. Only really got into trouble a, a few times, and he winds up with a complete game shutout. Yep. And that 13K performance has follows a 16k performance I did in the game before that. So any of y'all think I don't know, so I can't dominate do pitching, there's your proof. Steve Lyons and the rest of our crew, I'm Matt Vasturgeon. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. Find out more, head on over to theshownation.com. I just the really wish I hadn't gotten that one hit. Ugh. So long from the Bronx. And there goes the train in the background. There's a train in the background. There's a train in the background. Five runs, eight hits, no errors. They left one man on base. For the Yankees, no runs, just one hit, no errors. They left one man on base. Time of the ball game: two hours and fifty-two minutes. In in. Fifty-three thousand three hundred and twenty-five. The Yankees thank you for attending and remind you to please drive home safely. And that's in-game time. In actual real-world time, forty-four minutes. And there you go. All right. Daniel Nava, okay. Alright, well ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this particular episode. As always, I've been the Lumberjack. Try to behave yourselves. I will see you next time. Peace out.